more. You say you ain't doing good, you know I always know I know that. All right, AEW Pax Smokers, this is your Uncle Master Marks, and it's time to clock in. Shouts out to the AEW Pax Smokers and the Master Marks Militia and the Day One Doggy Bones, as well as the Black Horsemen, the Snow Brothers, and, and the Mask Line. Shouts out to all my Mask Line members, K Breezy, Abengora, TW Booty Hunter, uh, the Black Horseman as well, Dante Jerron 23, Official Man Eater, Bajita. Shouts out to all my dogs. Listen, today's video is simply titled Tony Khan pulled Ricky Starks from GCW. He pulled them. As, as, as soon as Ricky Starks tried to get out of the field, Tony Khan said, Whoosh, get your ass back in that field, boy. Get back in the field. Listen, Tony Khan, I, Tony Khan, please, just let the man go. You don't want him there. You have nothing for him to do. Let my people go. Looking ass. Let them go. But see, this is the crazy thing, right? Vince did this same shit at a point in time. He did He did kind of like was a little petty about it. Petty con is the same way. But Tony don't get the same heat that fucking Vince got. I don't get it. I don't get it. This is sickening to me. The fact that Tony Khan is not using Ricky Starks, but he pulled Ricky Starks from all of his GCW bookings. Why would you do that? Why in the hell would you pull him from GCW when you're not using him? You have no use for him. You have nothing for him to do. There is no way that he could keep his name and his brand still in the wrestling business besides that interview that he did with uh, Chris Van Vliet. Besides doing indie shows like GCW, you're not putting him on TV. You're paying him to not do shit with him. Why? Why be so petty, Tony Khan? Is it because you know that people in GCW have some ties to WWE? Possible. It's, it's possible. It's possible. But my whole thing about it is if you don't want to use Ricky Starks, why are you not releasing him? He don't want to be there. You don't want him there. You have nothing for him to do. Tony Khan, let my people go. Let him go. Like Elsa. It's time to let him go. Not be petty. And keep whipping him and telling him to get back in the field. There is a point in time, Tony Khan, as a businessman, where if you want to be different from Vince, you got to start making decisions that aren't close to or like Vince. Vince was petty as hell, but that's also because he comes from the territory days. He comes from those type of days. You are, nev you are never in the territory days, ever. You are never in the territory days. And also, I just want to say this. In the comments section, I appreciate all the comments, positive, negative. Tell us if you hate us, tell us if you love us. You know how we do it. But you niggas who be putting five-page essays inside of my fucking comment section, I'm not reading that. The mo I'm going to read the first sentence. If the first sentence is negative, then the whole goddamn post going to be negative. I'm not reading that shit. I'm sorry. I fuss with you. I wish you peace and blessings. I wish your family and yourself a million, billion, gajillion dollars. But am I going to read that shit? No. I'm not reading that shit. I'm not doing it, brother. So you can go in the comment section. You can put a thousand comments about how you don't like what I'm saying. We don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't give a damn. Anyways, back to what we saw about. Tony Khan. Let my people go. Let them go. You don't want him in GCW. You don't want him in AEW. You don't want him release. Want to release him? That is some selfish PNB rock ass shit. <laughs> that's 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 
that's like the the motherfucker who texts me, sent me a text message talking about some. Oh, I was thinking of you this morning. I just wanted to say hi, and I hope you're doing well. And I wish that I could hear back from you sometime. Sending me selfish by PNB Rock, girl. Bye. <laughs> Get the fuck out my phone. Hell no. Hell no. Absolutely not. No way, Jose. No way. At some point in time, Tony Khan, you as a businessman, you got to start making decisions that's best for business. If you don't have any plans for Ricky Starks, let him go. But this is the this is the crazy part about it. The whole shit between Ricky Starks and Edge is probably mainly one of the pieces that started this whole issue. Ricky Starks came in at the beginning of AEW, in the early period of AEW. Then you got a new toy like Edge. So now that you got a new toy that's a Hall of Famer in WWE, even though Ricky Starks is still young, you sitting there looking at him like, I know you ain't say that to Ed. I know you ain't say that. Shout out to the, shout out to the, uh, woo wee, shout out to the papaya ice cream tea from Panaria. I better go get y'all some. It costs like, look, you can get a free drink every two hours from Panera, cuz. I'm telling you straight up. And you don't even gotta keep, you ain't gotta pay for it. Just keep using your emails to make new accounts. Listen to your uncle. I got the game. Game is game. Just like, just like nephew Mookie said, game is game. <laughs> I got you on some game. You want a free Panera drink every two hours? Sign up for the free sip club and go get you some goddamn free sip club every single day. Then make a new email when your fucking membership is up. Don't pay for the shit, nigga. Cancel the account, bitch. Cancel the account. But no, back to what we talking about. I'm, I'm just bullshitting at this point. Tony Khan, Slave Master Khan, I understand that you have this thing in your heart where you don't want your talent that's currently in AEW who could possibly be leaving to be shown. But you got to understand that's just how the business work. That's how Mercedes got there. That's how Bobby Lashley got there. That's how all those people got there. From you seeing them and them leaving their previous company. If it doesn't fit, you got to quit. If, if, if Ricky Starks don't fit in your company, you can't hold him hostage. Hashtag free Ricky Starks. Free that boy. Y'all hashtag all this shit and EO and, and Dakota Kai who never fucking wrestles to be in the goddamn Intercontinental Championship contention. Free Ricky Starks to that boy is fucking free. Free that man. FRS. Free Ricky Starks, bro. He don't want to be there. Tony don't want him there. Tony ain't got nothing for him to do. And he can't also go do other bookings. So what is he supposed to do? Just sit at the house and wait till you say... Hey Ricky, it's Tony. Uh I I I got an idea. I'm gonna have you wrestle in a match against Big Bill. And it's gonna be in a slavery, get your ass whoop and go pick some cotton afterwards match. Like that is that what you want? Tony, you're a businessman, bro. You're a businessman, right? That's what you call yourself, right? That's what you say you are, right? You say you're a businessman, right? Because I think different, but you said you're a businessman. So as a businessman, why in the hell aren't you making good business decisions? That's bad business. Because not only are you holding someone hostage, just like you did Pentagon Jr., Ray Phoenix, and all the other motherfuckers you hold in hostage, but now new talent sees that. So if you got young prospects that want to come into AEW, they didn't see that, damn, if I outgrow AEW, I'm going to be held hostage there. This is the reason why you get the type of shit that you get. This is the reason why people talk about the type of shit that we talk about. We don't just hate you because we want to hate you. We hate you because you don't fucking make good decisions. You don't make good decisions. You got people stuck in their hell hostage. Oh, well, you were injured for a month, so I got to keep you here. Keep me there for what, nigga? For what? Imagine if you worked at a company, right? And you say, for instance, you were sick for two weeks. You had COVID for two weeks, right? 
And then you found a better job, you know, after you came back from COVID, you worked there for another year, but you found a better job. And you put your two weeks in, as you should do. And then your company come back to you and say, yeah, we know you put your two weeks in, but you were sick with COVID. So we're going to have you stay an extra two weeks past your two weeks for no fucking reason. Imagine that. Does that make sense to you? In a job, you can't do that. In a business, you can't do that. When you have a contract, when you work with a company, because you do sign a contract, how much you're going to make, what's expected to be made, how much your insurance costs, all of these things, you do sign a contract. There is a contract when you accept a job. You're still con- contract con- contracted to do something. I'm going to say a contraction. Oh, my Lord. Baby master marks on the way. We'll see. You still have a contract to do something, right? But you also have, as Marcus likes to talk about, an opt-out clause. Because <laughs> Marcus loves the word opt-out clause. <laughs> By finding a new job and putting your two weeks in when you're done with the company. No company I have ever heard in my life has ever ever said to me or to anybody that I know, yeah, you were sick for two weeks. Um, we're going to have to have you stay for an extra two weeks. That makes no sense. <laughs> and I know people sit there like they was talking about last yesterday, talking about some, I lost all credibility when I was talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars and all of this stuff. Y'all niggas need to stop it, man. Y'all got to stop it, man. Y'all got to stop it, man. Y'all got to stop it. Think about it. If everybody else is waking up and smelling the, uh, smelling the pack, maybe I wasn't the bad guy all along. Maybe my opinion about AEW was right. You was right, right, right. I was wrong, wrong, wrong. Maybe your ass was wrong. Maybe I don't just sit out here and spew shit out of my mouth just for the fuck of it. You think I want to get up out of what I'm doing just to come out here and talk about fucking losers? No, I don't want to do that, dog. I want to enjoy wrestling. So just understand that. Anyways, back to what I'm talking about, man, because this video going to be extra long if I keep going on and on about the fucking bullshit y'all niggas say in the comment section. Tony Khan, you don't need to pull Ricky Starks from GCW, bro. That is fucking silly. That is petty. And that is just as lame as fuck as when Drake tried to sue the shit that was going on with Kendrick. You lost, my nigga. You lost. L-O-S-T. Lost. Tony Khan, he wants to leave. You don't want him there no more. That's like, that's really like some shit like, like a girlfriend, right? She don't want to be with you no more. She don't want to text you. She don't want to call you. She don't want to fuck you. She want to go fuck other niggas. But when you try to leave a bitch, she like, oh, no, no, no. I still love you. I still want you. I want you to be with me. I don't want you to leave me. Your dick is so good. You eat my pussy so good. I love you. Baby, I want to marry you. All that bullshit. That's just like a chick like that. It's no difference. I don't want you to. I, I, I don't want you. This is this is the situation. Let me say it. I don't want you, but I also don't know. Don't I didn't got distracted. I just seen some ass. Good lord. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> like I was saying, man. I'm not bad. <laughs> y'all know I don't edit this shit out. I just keep it flowing. Tony Khan's train of thought right now is: I don't want you, but I also don't want nobody else to want you. That's what his, th- his train of thought is. He doesn't want anybody else to get any eyes on Ricky Starks to possibly pay him some money. Why, though? You don't want him. If you don't want somebody in your company or you can't book somebody in your company or you feel like somebody isn't a good fit for you, release them. It's as simple as one, two, three. Ricky Starks could have a decent future it- I mean, uh, him and Dragonov and, and uh, Walter, uh, not Walter, sorry, uh, Gunther's homeboy. Uh, they can have a really good bout in the IC championship division. Ricky Starks could, you never know, man. The guy has star potential. And Edge also, Edge, let me tell you something, bro. This the truth about Edge, man. 
And I'm going to just say this and I'm going to move forward. Ed, you the type of nigga that don't want to get out of wrestling, but you don't know, want nobody to take your spot either. I'm going to just say the truth. Because it's clear as day. When you was in your at the end of your fucking tenure on fucking uh, WWE, you put nobody over. You ain't help nobody. You ain't push nobody. You came back for your own ego. And then you killed your ego by going to the most lamest company in the, in the entire fucking wrestling business, AEW. Good, good job, Edge. But you sure did get at Ricky Starks calling him a fake rock. Good job, Edge. Good job, brother. You fucking goofy. You goofy ass nigga. You are a Hall of Famer in WWE. You... Out of all people, a nigga that just came from nothing that was a fucking stooge in the fucking brood that moved up to being a, a tag team legend with Christian. You out of all people, my nigga, you have no business down talking somebody young who trying to up and come in the business because you was that nigga too. You was that too. You at a point in time in your career wouldn't shit. Couldn't talk on the mic. Early edge when he was IC champion, the nigga sucked on the mic. The edge and Christian shit, that shit was kept alive by Christian. They call him Captain Charisma for a fucking reason. Edge, you wasn't that great on the mic when it came to Christian back in the day. But you was a young gun, you came up, you built your shit, and you became a fucking legend, a Hall of Famer. So for you to try to fucking kill somebody and call him a vanilla midget, <laughs> you got a lot of fucking nerve. Out of all the people in the backstage, you talking about talking about calling them kid and yeah, nigga, Ed, shut the fuck up. Shut up. You went from being a Hall of Famer to being a fucking jobber. Free Ricky Starks till he motherfucking free. Free him. And Tony Khan, I, I want to let you know something, man. Your issue with I don't want I don't want you, but I don't want nobody else to want you. That shit, you need to resolve that. Because that inside of your head. That's not going to get you nowhere in the business world. It's going to make you look like a goddamn dummy. Nobody's going to want to come there. So, Tony Khan, for you pulling Ricky Starks from GCW, put the fries in the bag. Go grab the ice cube thing. Put some water in it. Put the ice cubes in the freezer. Put the hamburger on the bun. You are a fucking dumb ass dude. This has been Master Marks. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, comment. Tell us if you hate us. Tell us if you love us. Tell me if you don't like what I'm saying about Tony Khan or Ricky Starks. At the end of the day, I don't give a goddamn because I'm going to keep making these videos. We've been making videos all week. I still, I was supposed to drop the HBK video today, but this is more important. Oh my God. I need some damn speech therapy or some shit. My brain just be moving too fast, y'all. It, it moves too fast, and sometimes my words just come out like lightning or something, like the flash or something. I was going to make that HBK video today, but I did not get a chance to do that because I am doing this video. This video is more important to put out because this is something that's currently happening. We will talk about HBK tomorrow as long as nothing else happens today. So hopefully, y'all get that HBK is a wild boy video tomorrow like i said this has been master marks leave a comment uh, tell us if you hate us tell us if you love us if you're new to the channel and you're a first time listener make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications if you're a person that has never experienced our live stream that happens at 8 p.m if you have free time or if you, you you're done smashing your wife and feeding your children Come on to the live stream. You have an opportunity to come on the Discord. Tell us your opinion about wrestling and tell us how you feel. Fuck Tony Khan. Fuck AEW. Free Ricky Starks to the motherfucking free. I'm out this bitch. Let's dance a bit. Trace them all. You say you ain't doing good. You know I'm